Today, I'm unboxing my DVC Bro Gift Exchange gift. A very merry December 15th and day 15 of Vlogmas. We are gonna kick this video off with my pin advent calendar. It was curated by my friend Mary over at Jolly Holiday with Mary. So I highly encourage you after you watch this video to go head over to her channel and see what pin I curated for her that she unboxed today. We are opening up this adorable little house. I love the blue windows and the pink door. Oh my goodness. So very lucky on December 15th, I got two pins today. So first up is this Harambe pin. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am starting to collect Animal Kingdom pins because another room in our house I wanna decorate our upstairs bathroom as Safari Animal Kingdom vibes. So pin board in the bathroom, yes. This pin says Harambe Enterprise and I believe it is the emblem for Kilimanjaro Safari. Love this pen, it is gorgeous. And then we have another Disney's Animal Kingdom logo pen with Mickey. This one is so cute. So little Mickey here is exploring and he is looking out for the lions, which if you've ever been to Disney World, you know, they're usually pretty sleepy on the safari. So Mickey, keep looking. Mary, thank you so much. Now let's get into today's video. Before we get to the unwrapping of the gift, the reason why we're doing this video is because Pauline and I are part of a Facebook group that is an affinity group for other uh, Disney Vacation Club timeshare owners. And through that group, I've made quite a few good friends. And of those good friends, four, four or five of us got together and we started the DVC Fan Bro Chat and Facebook Messenger. And we've all gotten really close and become good friends. And one of us, it was either Sean or maybe Jason, suggested that we do a bro gift exchange. And so we put a $50 limit on it, which I'm pretty sure we all ignored. <laughs> and the general theme was going to be some, either something that we really liked as individuals or something that has to do with our love of Disney or our favorite resort. I know the things that I bought for my person were directly related to personal things of his and how those things intertwine with Disney. I'm excited to share what I got with you and coming up in this video, we're also gonna share you what the other bros got. So we'll look forward to showing you that. Now let's get into unwrapping this bad boy. So this says, it looks like it says fragile on it, but it actually says fragile. Now I don't know who this is from. And I have no idea what it is. I just know that it came from an Etsy shop from somewhere in North Wales, Pennsylvania, which makes me think it might be from Jason, but I'm not sure it can come from anyone. So is there a note or anything in there? No, just got this nice gift wrapped. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> this must have come from the same shop that you got our luggage tags made with. This is fantastic. This is a cool little uh, Polynesian resort themed uh, sign that obviously has our last name in it. Um, it's got like a little sticky pad on the back so that I can adhere it somewhere in my man cave. Probably going to, if I ever get a bar up there, I'll, uh, I'll put it near the bar and uh, let's see if there's a note. Nope, I have no idea who this is from because I didn't ask and they didn't include a note. So to whichever one of you fine gentlemen got this for me, thank you very much and uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy my gift. All right. I will probably be on fire at any moment, uh, so we're going to get this over with. Opening of the Bro Christmas gift, or if you're David, the Bronica gift. Uh, this states it is from Santa Claus, so I, I do not know at this time who actually sent this gift. Take a peek. Oh my. Got the Todd Larson's pet butler serving vest for pet animals uh, with the patented magnet disc simply lets you attach to almost any serving vessel. Also good for your hairless cats. 
So uh, I'm going to assume that this box may or may not contain said item. If it does, Hermes is going to have a fun Christmas. Hermes is going to be disappointed, I think. <laughs> well, it says it all right there, folks. West Virginia. If only I could cue in the music right now. Country roads, take me home. We also have a giant pack of wild boar buffalo bombs beef jerky. I told all the bros that uh, every year I ask for uh, jerky of the month club and I never get it. So this is quite awesome. I will enjoy this year round or probably over the course of the next week. And then also a lovely Wally drinking mug because it's fitting, fits in with the, with the overall look of things. I'm still confused by the little uh, brush and cleaner. Probably for the cup. Yeah. Oh, it's a straw. I think it's <laughs> a straw. Yeah, it's a metal straw for the cup. That's why we keep Amy around so that she can tell me what these things are for. So that is my broke Christmas gift. Um, I believe that this came from Sean. So thank you very much, Sean, for all of this wonderful stuff. I will wear my shirt. Uh, Probably, probably to sleep in, um, but I will enjoy the mug and definitely enjoy the jerky. Merry Christmas. So it looks like we have uh, Hitchhiker Brewing and Gnome, Dancing Gnome, looks like we're represented. So on Pale Ales, IPAs, uh, Peanut Butter Porter, that one might have mysteriously already been gone. Thank you very much for the beer and I'm going to enjoy them this week. Ominous box. What could it be? Cute sticker on the front. Again, look at this wrapping. It survived the trip, Paul, whatever it is. It's fragile, as Phil would say. So, let's see if it survives me opening it. Uh-oh. I see what this is. Look at that. That's right. The great thing is, it's not like see-through, so I can drink anything I want to out of it during the day while I work. So, nice combo gift there, Paul. Thank you very much. You know I have children, and I need these from time to time during the day, and thank you. Oh, one more thing. <gasps> thank you, Paul. Have yourself a gritty little Christmas. By far, the best mascot in all sports and i'm really happy that you admitted that paul thank you so much and may this face haunt your dreams This is Sean here with the Boston edition of DVC Fan Secret Bro Christmas. And I got my gift here from Mr. Jason Herbert. So we're going to go ahead and see what we got here. By the way, who trusts me with a knife? Crazy. This was a bad idea. But we're going to see. By the way, gentlemen. Cheers. Ah. Once it hits your lips, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, a card. That's thoughtful. I didn't do that. Oh my God. <laughs> it's bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. Oh, no, but my kids do. Nice. It's like a whole treasure box here. We got some room spray from Magic Candle Company. We got Haunted. Uh, we got uh, Floridian Christmas uh, Melt, Wax Melt, which is appropriate because I'm right here, right with all of my Magic Candle Company candles right here. So yeah, I'm in the right spot. Um, let's see here. What else we got? No bubble wrap. Excellent. Okay. 
Wow, Jason, you went all out. This is crazy. What do we got here? Oh, 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 oh. Firestone Velvet Oatmeal Stout. Jason, you are a scholar and a gentleman. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. And we're here in the bar. Again, perfect. What is this? <laughs> Some of the McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toys we were missing. Thank you, sir. It's like a whole bunch of stuff. This is crazy. <laughs> Animal Kingdom Lodge. I like it. This is fantastic. I'm just going to have all the resorts represented in my house. Every room is going to have its own theme. This is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. By the way, this is my home resort where I have my blue card. This one, I love the wrapping paper. The child. Excellent. Bro. Freaking sweet. That is awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Cheers, bro. Thank you. Merry Christmas. This is gift number one that I started opening already. There's many gifts here. First, we have a loop of yarn. Then we have a second piece of yarn. This one has a kind of different knot on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, very nice. I'm not going to pretend to say the Spanish part, but I know what the English part says. This is perfect. <clears throat> now we have the second package from Phil. Hey, I see Jewish stuff in here. Happy Hanukkah, baby boy, with Mickey Mouse on it. Mickey Mouse spinning a dreidel. We have some beautiful... It's like a... Uh, I was trying to figure out what this is, and then I realized that it's all wrapped up, so I'd probably unwrap it. Okay, we have the first part is unwrapped. It says Happy Hanukkah. That's awesome. Wow. Not really good. It came out super good. She hand painted each of these. Well, that was a fun video. I loved watching all my friends unwrap their gifts. We had a couple of really, really cool ones in there. I hope David liked my gift to him. And we're also looking forward to seeing more potentially of the DVC bros in the new year. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that like button. If you haven't joined our family yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you with us on all our adventures. If you've already subscribed, uh, make sure that you hit the notification icon. And if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts about anything in this video, or just want to share your experience while watching it, make sure to leave a comment below. I appreciate you guys being here. And as always, peace, love, and quadrating. Before you go, we wanted to make sure you had a chance to catch our feature in park video for Vlogmas. You can find a link to the video up above or down in the description. In today's video, we head over to Ohana for our final meal at Walt Disney World. It's New Year's Day and we're grabbing breakfast. I hope you'll go give it a watch. Mm -hmm.